Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew Lee and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Sin and Family. The portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Psalms, chapter 73, verses 27 to 28 from the Passion Translation and it reads as follows. Those who abandon the worship of God will perish. The false and unfaithful will be silenced, never heard from again. But I'll keep coming closer and closer to you, Lord Yahweh, for your name is good to me. I'll keep telling the world of your awesome works, my faithful and glorious God. Family, isn't that portion of scripture so true? It's a stern warning for those who choose to turn their back on God, but it's also a lovely scripture for those who choose to pursue God. Family, at the end of the day, the choice is ours, whether we pursue God or whether we turn our backs on him and we need to choose. The beautiful thing is God has given us the free ability to choose. And that is one of the things that make us unique as human beings. The angels and all these kinds of things, he created and basically programmed them to worship him. But us, he gave the choice because he wants us to choose to freely love and to freely worship him. And this portion of scripture tells us what happens if we choose to do that, as well as tells us what happens if we choose to turn our back on him. What does it say there? It says, those who abandon the worship of the, the of God will perish. Now, that's speaking about perishing in this life and the life to come, because if they turn their back on God, if they do not accept the free gift that Jesus chose to give them by dying on the cross for their salvation, if they choose not to accept the free gift of salvation, they will perish, family, by spending the rest of hell in eternity. People go to hell for their lack of belief, their lack of belief in the Lord and not receiving Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. Doesn't, God doesn't want people to perish and doesn't want people to go to hell. He made it as easy as possible for us to get into heaven but if they choose to turn their back on the Lord and abandon the worship of him they will perish it's there in the word it, it continues to say the false and unfaithful will be silenced never heard from again and that's also speaking about those who in their hearts have chosen to turn away from the Lord even though they might still go to church even though they may raise their hands and worship in their hearts they've cho chosen to turn their back on God and spend their life pursuing you know their own will their own desire the things of this world and all these kinds of things basically fake Christians is what is being spoken about there the false and unfaithful those who claim to be Christians but are false in their Christianity and unfaithful to the Lord what does it say that they will be silenced and never heard from again they're basically on the same path because even though their mouth is confessing that Jesus is Lord they're not believing in their hearts of what Jesus did and consequently they won't be saved at the end of the day family but what does the scripture go on to speak about it goes on to speak about about what the Lord does and who the Lord is for those who choose to pursue him. It says there, but I will keep coming closer and closer to you, Lord Yahweh. And that is what we, where we need to be at, family. We need to be at a point where we are constantly drawing closer and closer to the Lord. The Bible says that if we draw nearer to God, he will draw nearer to us, family. God is waiting for us to draw nearer to him so that he can draw nearer to us. He wants to draw nearer to us, but he is waiting for us to show him that we want to draw nearer to him too, family. And it goes on there to say, for your name is good to me. In other words, the name of the Lord is good. And also the Lord is good to us as we choose to draw nearer to him. He's good to us. What does the Bible say in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33? Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness above all else, and you will and he will give you everything that you need. The Lord is good to those who choose to pursue him family and it goes on there to say i'll keep telling the world of your awesome works and that is something that we need to do as christians as well it's something that we need to do that we're required to do because the bible says that that we are to be Jesus's witnesses to fulfill the great commission. So we are to tell the world of his awesome works, but also as we draw nearer to him, as we spend more time with him, he will do great and mighty works in our lives. And when he does these things for us, family, we will not be able to help ourselves, but to tell everybody of the wonderful things that he has done for us, like the psalmist is saying there. And then it concludes by saying, my faithful and glorious God. What is that saying? It's saying God is faithful, God is glorious. But the only way that we can taste of his faithfulness the only way that we can taste of his glory, the only way we can taste of his awesome works and everything that's being spoken about, his goodness, his love, and all these kinds of things is if we choose to actively pursue him, to grow in our relationship with him, to draw closer and closer to him, like the psalmist has said, family. So at the end of the day, what does it boil down to? It boils down to choice. Do we choose to turn our back on God and walk away from worshiping him? Do we choose to 
to falsely and unfaithfully be Christians or do we choose to pursue the Lord, pursue him, draw closer and closer and accomplish and follow his will for our lives to be the people he's created us to be, do the things that he's called us to do and to live the life that he wants us to live. Family, the choice is yours. So I want to encourage you, as the Bible says, choose life. Thank you, family. I hope that this message has blessed you and encouraged you and given you some food for thought. And before I end, I'd just like to close in prayer. Father God, we come to you in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for this day, that this is the day that you have made, and we can rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you for your word and the advice in your word, Lord. And I pray, Lord, for each and every single person listening, myself included, Lord, that you will help us to actively pursue you. As the psalmist did there, Lord, help us to draw closer and closer to you, Lord, so that we can grow in our relationship with you, Lord, so that you can draw closer to us, Lord, and accomplish great and mighty exploits in our lives and through our lives, Lord. Lord, there where we've turned our back on you, there where we've neglected our relationship, relationship with you, Lord. I pray, Lord, that you will forgive us as we move forward to actively pursue and strengthen our relationship with you, Lord, so that we can be the people you've created us to be, do the things that you've called us to do, and live the life that you want us to live. And we give you alone all the praise, the glory, and the adoration. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the content of the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to help us spread this message and to get it out there to your friends and family so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the content of this video. And I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every day of the week at 7 a.m. Central African time on the Evangelist Matthew Lee Facebook page, as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watched this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watched this message and were blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry or to partner with us on a monthly basis, I'd like to ask you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says giving. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our SnapScan QR code. And lastly, I'd just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you, family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless.